Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to the gym with my sister for a bit of a whole body workout. We were going to just do hamstrings and glutes um, and we still will do that but I just don't know how long my legs are going to last because I did do a leg workout the other day and they are, my knee, my right knee is a little bit sore so I'm just going to take it easy so if I have to do other things I will do a little bit of upper as well. I wanted to just come on here and talk a little bit about what my plans are for the rest of this year and a lot of people keep asking me like what what if I'm doing the show later on like um just trying to ask me what I'm doing this year and I do I, I do answer them I do tell them what I'm doing but I think I will just come on here and let everyone know so then I can just you know not say it a hundred times and everyone can just refer back to this video so plan is for this year to do two IFBB comps one comp which is like the one that I did last year as the, like the, a and, the ABF I have one comp in October and then one the, the week after which is the ABF and then like three weeks later I have the other IFBB and it is the nationals so it's like the quality like you can get your pro card there so it's not like I'm expecting to get my pro card but I do want to go through as many experiences this year as possible so I think that will mean doing all three shows just for a bit more experience I've only done one show um, and yeah so I think I think I'm really excited and mentally I'm super prepared as well so I'm like going into comp and going into prep I know what is required I know where my mind has to be and what I need to achieve to get to my goals. In regards to meal meal plans, this week I got my meal plan in. Um, I reviewed it, so I'm gonna have to go and do a food shop. The last few weeks I've been on a bit of a intuitive eating type of situation where he's given me my calories and also my macros, and I've tried my best to reach those. Um, coming into prep so that I'm not I wasn't actually on a strict diet plan it was very relaxed eating um, it wasn't really like wasn't super strict it was very relaxed my food plan is I, I haven't calculated the calories and I haven't asked him what they are but I have got my meal plan um, so when I I need to text him actually when I text him I'll insert it in when I show you guys my food that I buy this afternoon um, and I'll just pop that in there just to show you guys like how many calories I'm having so that you can kind of understand where I'm at like first like when I first start prep so this will be um, it is going to be a long prep to be honest but I wanted a longer prep so that I can get myself into a better shape like to where I would usually start prep if that makes sense so I think it'll be more beneficial for me for my overall goal because my first comp is the IFBB and it is like a much like it is a comp leveled up from the comp that I did yet last year so it has the competitors are a lot more um, driven I guess you could say the standard of body is like way higher so I really need to kick myself into gear because last year if I could get where I was last year by being so relaxed then this year if I am strict and put everything I can into it I'm hoping for a much better result um, I'm not expecting to win everything but I am expecting to go out there and give it my 100% best. And that's really all I can ask for myself. Only because, like, the standard is so high. Um, there is a lot of people that have been doing this for years and years and years. And they all go out there every year, do the same thing, 
they have their posing like their posing is next level <laughs> so I'm actually looking at getting a um, a posing coach so I did have a posing coach for my last prep but um, I think she doesn't really specialize in IFBB posing and it is a different level like I was saying so I think for me to level up my game this year and also in my posing I need to get a posing coach like that is a non-negotiable so I'm definitely going to be doing that so I'm really pumped to do that I've got one lined up so I'm just going to message another lady and see how we go um, the pricing is insane so I'm going to spend like probably double the amount I spent last year on my prep I think and and getting to my show because well instead of doing one show I'm now doing three so that's almost like triple I'm going to use one bikini in the first one and use that same one in the second but I'm going to get a third bikini for the nationals just because it's another show I want to come out with a bit of a bang um, so that's what I'm thinking so I would like to do that so that in itself is going to be more so instead of only paying $500 for my bikini I'm going to be paying $1,000 for my bikinis this year um, I mean it's something I want to do so it's something that I'm going to budget for and then obviously because it is a longer prep I'm going to be needing a lot more like I'm going to be paying more for coaching I'm going to be paying more for um, heaps of things Right, well, I'm, I am actually pulling up to my gym now, but like literally that's all I wanted to just come on here and talk to you guys about, just like where everything's at, um, how I'm feeling going into prep, as this is my last day, not on prep technically, so tomorrow I start fresh, it's on my meal plan it said 18 weeks out of prep, I am definitely only 20 weeks out of prep now, so it is a fair bit longer of a prep but it's okay it's what I wanted so I've got to get him to change that on my meal plan as well because <laughs> I think I thought it was originally 19 weeks out of out of prep I mean 19 weeks out of comp but it was actually 20 weeks and so he's thought last week was 19 weeks and that this week is 18 weeks so technically we're talking about this week being this coming week comp being 20 weeks out of comp. Alright, we're here. This is a bit of an old style gym. It's literally in a shed. When I pull up, I'll just show you guys. So exciting. I wonder if my sister is here. I hope this is the gym we were supposed to go to. <laughs> we had a bit of a confusion of which gym we were going to be going to. <laughs> I have a, I have fitness passports, so I can go to basically any gym. Um, so I'll just park over here. I haven't even taken my pre-workout. All right, if you guys can see that shed, can you guys see that shed? It's an Anytime Fitness, but it's a shed. I think my sister's not here. I'll wait here for her. She let me check my phone. Oh no! Oh. I literally thought I forgot my phone. Me and my sister have this thing where we can locate each other, which is great. Because then I can know how far away she is. So, so she's actually probably, I feel like, six minutes away. So I'll have my pre-workout. So yeah, so this is the pre-workout that I'm going to be taking. Okay, I'm just going to take this pre-workout. I'm actually going to dry scoop it, so don't mind me. I have not done this in ages, so I'm having like a little, I have a half scoop. I'll have two like half scoops. It's easier to do that for me than to try and, like look how big this scoop is. Like it's literally the size of my actual mouth.
Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> There's something about dry scooping that I can't really do anymore. Hello, Bon. Hello. What's that doing? Oh. I'm just having my dry scoop. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice jumper. Thanks. It really suits you. It's only one hundred and fifty dollars. Really? For in a day. Bit of a splurge. Oh, <laughs> Fuck! I hate doing this. It's so shit. Ugh. You want some? <laughs> I'm not really selling it to you, am I? <laughs> So here I'm doing the seated abductions. I like to do these with three different angles. So with my torso straight up and down and then also leaning forward and also leaning all the way back. So I do about 10 reps with each one and then I'll do 10 little tiny reps at the top or as many as I can do. So if I can't get 10, I will just get as many as I can. These really burn. So we've just moved on to RDLs using dumbbells. I think I was using 12 kilos here. And I had started off doing single leg deadlifts. And then because it was starting to irritate my knee, I moved on to using both legs together.
So this gym has a really cool machine. It is the hip thruster machine. So you lay down, you buckle yourself in, and you basically hip thrust. You can load the weight, and you don't have to use the full barbell. This was really good. I did start off light. I was doing probably 15 reps, and then I did another... Actually, I think I did like 10 reps and then another 10 as I made the weights get heavier. And then I dropped the weights completely to about 10 and then burnt out doing about 20 reps.